My stovetop broke today, and I'm hungry. So I decided to use the only alternative that could possibly cook my food. My 3D printer. And I'm feeling like eating some ramen topped with a fried egg, so I 3D printed a spatula and got to work. First, we need to boil water. And fortunately for me, 3D printers get really hot. Yow, Jesus Christ. So let's start boiling some water for the ramen. The print bed, this, can easily reach 110 degrees Celsius or 230 Fahrenheit for my fellow Americans. So while I played games on my computer instead of fixing the stove, the 3D printer heated up and even made my water pretty warm. But with the print bed temperature being just above boiling, would this even work? Regular stove tops can easily get over 400 degrees and even then it still takes a few minutes to boil. So we're not quite at the two hour mark, but we are almost boiling or not really but i mean the water's pretty hot according to that little heat gun this water is up to about 180 degrees fahrenheit which is you know roughly 80 90 celsius it's already been this long i don't know how much longer i'm gonna have this keep going after over two hours the water barely even started bubbling and my stomach was not gonna wait any longer so while i did enjoy getting a bunch of gaming in i do really need to get my food done so while i couldn't get any water boiling for my ramen i could at least try and fry an egg in the famous words of baby keem Big protein, 150 grams of protein. Or at least six, because there's not that much protein in one egg. So I started cracking the egg onto the admittedly dirty print bed. Hopefully the dust and glue in my egg is minimal. After the egg plopped down into the containment, it started coagulating right away. I did not expect this to work at all. And maybe that sneaking suspicion was good, because all of a sudden, the printer gave me an error. Now, a 3D printer is made to handle high temperatures, obviously. So my 3D printer shouldn't have any problems with the very warm hotbed. What happened was something I didn't even think of at all. 3D printers are equipped with fire prevention protocols calls, which is great. I don't really want my house catching on fire. So when I put the cool egg onto the hot printing surface, the printer got very confused. The print bed all of a sudden cooled off by like 10, 15, even 20 degrees. The printer says, the temperature just suddenly dropped severely. We need to shut it down or the house is going to burn down. And this causes what's known as a thermal runaway error. What you need to know is that I had to restart the whole thing. So I had to restart and start the print bed at room temperature to prevent this error from happening again. Okay, take two. Egg has been dropped and the cooking can begin. This shouldn't take too long, right? My dumbass forgot to uh, use Pam spray, so this stuff might actually stick really badly. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Oh, it's all stuck. Oh no. But I I can't touch this print bed. It's too hot for my hands. We gotta, we gotta try, right? Hey, hey, actually, you know what? I could probably get it off. May as well. That's not really done on that side, but it's close. So we're, we're gonna we're gonna let it go right there. I like my eggs over easy, so that's kind of what I'm going for here. This egg white right here is kind of cooked, so let's see if this tastes good at all. That's cooked. That doesn't taste so bad. <laughs> Look at that. We got an egg, and it's like not toxic to my mouth, hopefully. And after over 35 minutes, I think the egg is done. Now for the moment of truth. One entire afternoon wasted, all for this moment. Let's give our over medium egg a try. Cheers. That's not bad, honestly. That's pretty tasty. Mm. I'm not sure that was part of the egg. Let's try the rest of it. Honestly, that's all right. <laughs> Do I recommend doing this as a last resort? No, just make a sandwich or something. I promise you'll be better off. So to answer the question, can you fry an egg on a 3D printer? Absolutely, you can. <laughs> I immediately just got Panda Express after. This is way better than cooking with a 3D printer. What am I even thinking? But if you thought that video was funny, the least you could do is subscribe and also check out last time's video where I 3D printed 185 Bulbasaurs. I, I think I'm kind of stupid, honestly. But I hope you like the video at least.